Hey guys, Kirk here, and thank you for joining me on the last video of Build Worlds. As you've just seen from the short cinematic I tried to create, uh, that signifies the end of Build Worlds version 1. Um, and I'm just taking a bit of time now to give my feedback on Build Worlds version 1 and the feedback that I've taken from the comments and announce some new things on the channel. So, like I say, with Build Worlds version 1, I've used Gaia and mass to create a landscape shader um i'm not a professional teacher guys i did set out to teach people how to use unreal engine i can only do my best but the comments i've had on certain videos throughout the series have really given me a kick up the ass um to producing better videos to teach people i've had comments like oh you i'm lost where am i up to you skip videos here skip videos there and I must admit, I have done that. They're obviously a mistake. Um, but there's a lot of things within Build Worlds Volume 1 or Version 1 um, that I could correct. And that's where I'm going to come to in my next uh, series, which I'm happy to say I'm going to do a Build Worlds Version 2. Now, with Build Worlds Version 2, it's going to be a lot different from Build Worlds Version 1. Like I say, Build Worlds version 1, I've had a steep learning curve with that with regards to teaching and showcasing my workflow when using Mast, even though I've never really used Mast before from World Machine. I've always created the height map in World Machine and then just created my own landscape shader in Unreal Engine without Mast. So this is my first time creating a landscape shader with Mast. So it's probably weren't a good idea to do it with the whole series on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, obviously you learn from your mistakes. Uh, but like I say, I'm going to do a Build Worlds version 2. It's gonna, I'm going to do it the way I know, which is create the high map in Gaia, because I like Gaia. I'm going to do a couple of videos on showcasing the proper workings of Gaia and things like that. Um, we're going to come from Gaia with a high map. We're going to bring it into Unreal Engine um, and use World Partition. Um, which I've not showcased on this channel before. So we're going to use World Partition and we're going to build the landscape shader from the ground up. The reason we're going to use World Partition is because it creates a lot more performance uh, because you can load selectable tiles through World Partition and just work on the particular tiles. Especially if you want to create a cinematic, uh, you could just load a specific part um, of the environment and use that and all that good stuff. So I'm going to look at Gaia for the height map, we're going to use World Partition for performance and I'm going to build the landscape shader from the ground up with the materials and all that which is going to be a lot more performant, uh, I think, I hope. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot more performant than using mass. Um, but the problem with the performance for Build Worlds Volume 1 or Version 1 is the size of the landscape and it's not using World Partition. So the size of the landscape, you got to keep in mind, Unreal Engine is displaying that landscape. So when you use World Partition, it does break off some of that performance hit that you will get from a whole landscape and all this good stuff. So like I say, I'm going to introduce the height map from Gaia. We're going to use World Partition to set up our landscape and we're going to build a landscape shader from the ground up that is going to be able, that you're going to be able to apply to any height map that you bring in from Gaia with Build Worlds Volume 1 and using mass your environment may have one two three four five six sorry about that uh masks that you can use for your environment so you've got to build that landscape shader up for them particular amount of masks whereas if you just build a landscape shader up that's going to get slope detection properly normal blends and tri the projection is going to be introduced to our landscape shader we're going to have cell bombing all this good stuff is going to be applied to build worlds Volume 2, as it is more advanced than the World's Volume 1. So, like I say, I'm happy to announce that there's a Build Worlds version 2. It's going to have a lot more detail, a lot more advanced stuff with regards to landscape shaders. I'm going to start introducing uh, single layer water and all this good stuff. We're going to make our own foliage material, our own asset material again, which is going to intertwine with our landscape shader, a new version of. Um, runtime virtual textures using it throughout the landscape not just with assets we're going to use it and the landscape shader we're going to use it with our foliage and all this good stuff i'm going to showcase all of that um, and that's what's to come in build worlds volume 2 version 2 whatever but you 
one thing you must remember, guys. I'm not a professional teacher. I'm going to do my best. But my real prof- professional, <laughs> my real passion in professional capacity is building levels for first-person shooters and open-world games, which is kind of what we're doing in the next series. Um, so after Bill Worlds Volume 2, we will then go on to level design and there's going to be a couple of series on there. So I've got lots of plans for this channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video. Um, there's also a donation link in the description. You don't have to do it. It just creates more support for me into getting a better system than I have at the minute. Um, so yeah, you can donate if you want, but you don't have to. I'm not... Uh, that fussed um, but yeah like i say we've got a lot of plans for this channel guys in the future so hit that subscribe button the notification bell and i'll see you in the new video thank you bye